guys welcome to absolute mayhem in my house right now it is ninin time with elijah's just coming to an end and shiloh is in hyperactive mode bye bye so uh, we're meant to be hey, don't hit your brother please excuse me no be nice love love that's it so Shiloh's just started the theme, <laughs> love or hate, hurt, excuse me, where's the boundary, you don't hit your brother now do you, excuse me, we don't hit do we, excuse me, <laughs> no, it's not good behaviour, stop this, right, if you carry on hitting your brother, you're going to go down on the floor, touch your brother again, I'm going to put you on the floor, <laughs> the question I'm asking is, does the system help or hinder? I've had the health visitor here today and we didn't actually manage to get her referral done that she's been asked to do by children's social care. They're all okay, everything, as long as I'm willing to accept a referral from adult social care. But like I said to Trish, I said, look, if I was literally paying my own money, like that pile of clothes there, would probably cost me 30 quid for somebody to come in and completely sort that job out. And if I had, say, somebody in my team that, you know, I said, look, today I'm not feeling great, but I want you to go and take the kids here and do this, and, and this is what you've got to do. And, and actually, I get to set the tone of that. I get to say exactly how you treat my kids, exactly how you are with my kids, what you can and you can't do, what you're allowed to do around my kids and what you're not allowed to do around my kids. Um, but when you have to go through adult social care, it's potluck who you get. Are they going to understand my condition? Here they go. They'll just go into the zone in a minute. I'm going to tickle your thing. And like now, obviously, I've got two children over me, and Elijah, don't encourage him, please. And at any point, one of these kids could slip my neck just by doing this. This is how easy it is. Um, so, but at the end of the day, I don't understand why this system expects us to do it all by ourselves. Like they said, in order to take Aaron and Faith, that Aaron and Faith would be raised in a, in a community okay well what was wrong with my children being raised in a community don't you dare hit your brother please it's not nice it's not good you don't hurt each other do you? i know you're playing now if you want to play fight then go over there and play fight yeah and go and get your boxing gloves on yeah where's your, where's your skateboard ah so anyway shiloh has been assessed as being um delayed in his speech um they're still not saying excuse me don't do that i'll have that now whether or not he's going to be autistic non-verbal or whether or not this is just delayed speech um he does have a couple of words um he's very clever and he's very competent aren't you and he's very funny and he's got his own sense of humor <laughs> And they're very good kids. But we had quite a good conversation with the health visitor today about whether or not there should be children and social workers who don't have kids. And can they ever actually ever understand this life of children? Right, where's your toys? Are you going to get your toys? Do you want to come and say hello on the live? What did you tell everybody they got to do yesterday? What were you saying down the stairs? You were going, come on, step up Britain. And you were going, I'm stepping up for Britain. <laughs> step up Britain. So anyway, this is my normal life, guys. This is why Mama. I can't be Mama. out on the forefront. Mama. Oh, stop jumping all over each other. Shiloh. Because if I was out there at the moment, I guarantee you my kids would run in different directions, in different situations. And we're getting all playful now, are we? Mum, where's, where's my book? Where's your book gone? Your book is here. Oh, where's his book gone? What have you done with his book? 
Where have you put his book? There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so, are you saying hello? Go on, then. say hello. Say hi. Say hi. Are you going to go and show everyone your skateboarding? Yes? Where's your skateboard? Hey, you wait, he's waving. Hey, you have to wave at the camera. Yeah, so you can see your hand. <laughs> so anyway, apparently Boris Johnson has made it. I haven't actually read. No, don't take it off. I haven't actually read what the deal is yet. So if anybody has that, I, I don't want to read anybody's opinion on it. I want to read the actual deal that Boris is putting to the EU. Well, apparently it's been accepted. Um, so I would like to see that now. So just, and hopefully, I might actually have a laptop, guys. It's one of the mums who's helping out. Um, and if I can, I might get this document done in time. Hopefully, I have an active, working, proper, functioning laptop with Word and um, all the functions for me to get this document done in time. I hope so. Um, and um, see how Saturday goes, really, because everybody's being pulled in on Saturday. And then the countdown begins, really. Um, yes, we will leave Brexit. Yes, we will leave. What's going to be the consequence of that? I don't know yet. Um, I don't think anybody will really know until it's done. So, um, just to remind you what you're actually fighting for, somebody else is enjoying this time with your kids and my kids. I told the health visitor about Faith cutting her hair off and even the health. I said, even you know what that means, don't you? And she said, she said we don't know, Kelly. Come on, it could be anything. I said, even you know that. Wonder why she's been taken. What do you, what's it you want? What is it you want? Speak. Up. Speak. You have to speak. Words. Speak. 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 Speak, speak power into your life through good positive words. Yes? Speak. No biting. No biting. So, anyway, guys, it's going to get a bit rough and a bit ready out there. Um, as we're coming in, uh, government's going to want to stabilise everything, can pull everything into reins. Um, lots of people protesting for lots of different reasons. The guys are currently outside the Department of Working Pensions, where they have stated that there is no help. It is just get back to work. And obviously, some people have to work, don't hurt him, work a little bit differently. Kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss. I'm not getting up, I'm sitting with your brother. Speak. 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 So anyway, it's tea time in this house, so I'm gonna go and finish tea and sort tea out and then get into evening prep. The kids have slept late today. Don't hurt him. Be nice. What is it you want? Speak. Speak. What is it you want? You can't just call me like that. What is it you want? No, I don't move on your demand. You tell me what you would like and I'll tell you whether or not I'll move. No, you don't just move like that. Come call me. Speak. Explain. What would you like? Don't hit him. You hungry? Yes? Or do you want your skateboard? Skateboard. Where's your skateboard? Show your skateboard. Where, oh yeah, go on, show us your skateboard. Yeah, what do you do on your skateboard? Yeah, what do you do on your skateboard? What do you do on your skateboard? Go and get it then. Mummy, show you on camera on the skateboard before we go. Yeah, can you hear sound? Go and get your skateboard. Can you hear? Listen. Banging. He's banging, it's fine, it's somewhere else. See, he hates it, he hates all this noise. Drives him up the wall, banging here, banging there, banging here, banging everywhere. Um, so anyway, welcome to... Yeah, what can you hear? It's a computer. Can you hear? It's because the computer's had it, it's knackered. Listen. Here, listen. 
Listen. Listen. Listen. Listen. Are you going to come and say bye-bye? No. Before we go, what we're going to make today, we're going to make some rice. Yeah? So to all the natural feeding mums, by the way, who have been sitting and holding a fork or breastfeeding their children, well done, guys. Um, to all of the brave souls out there who have taken their children, hats off, guys. Um, for someone like me, it's a bit difficult. And by the way, the health visitor, the health visitor reporting next door for the smell of weed. That's how much we've been here. It is constant because you've got officials and people who live here and people report. But does she know it's the right thing to do to report to housing that the hallway stinks of weed? Because how does she know what next door's circumstances are? And next door should be allowed to do what they want. Should my hallway stink of weed when I've got kids? No. Should she have reported her? It's a catch-22. Does reporting help or hinder? And why are we reporting? And how do we help? And how do we not hinder? So anyway, this one's going to go and get into skateboard mode. You just want to bite my laptop. Don't bite the laptop. Say bye bye. Speak bye. That's it. Say bye. Say watch this space. Say watch my channel at Shiloh Dean Samuel. Yes. Where's your channel? Shiloh Dean Samuel. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go before my kids really take the laptop to its deadly. Um, but remember, guys, somebody else is enjoying this moment and memory with your kids. And um, unless you get into court, unless you write your book, unless you tell your story, unless you make your stand, then they're going to keep enjoying their time with the kids. And they're not even going to know you. Um, and they're not even going to know anything that you did for them. I can say that when Aaron and Faith find me, that I can say I damn fought for my kids. I just hope you can say you damn fought for yours too. So I'm going to go before my kids completely grab everything and pull everything down and go and have some tea. And I shall see you guys later. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say that again. Well done. Bye-bye. Well done. Say bye-bye. Go on, say bye-bye. Oh, no. Bye -bye. Go on, say bye-bye. Oh, bye -bye. you want to say bye. You can watch the telly now, anyway. Yeah, we're going to Ow, don't bite me. No, don't bite me. Don't hurt. If you can't help, don't hinder.